Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, and this is a review for what's called Live from a Studio Audience, All in the Family in Good Times. Um, I mean, okay. So, first things first, if you have not done so already, please a moment to subscribe to my channel to become a whole Jaybird. Jaybird. Dun, dun, and all that good stuff, okay? Dun, 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 all that good stuff, okay? Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on IG and or Twitter at J underscore V underscore corner and all of that. Now, I just want to get that out the way. Um, This is not going to be long. I'm not going to really focus too much on the All in the Family one because mainly we had seen it before, okay? They did this last time. Well, it was earlier this year because I reviewed that one too when they did All in the Family and the Jeffersons. And that was amazing. That was amazing, okay? Even though I didn't like how they put, put, put a Wheezy as um Wanda Sykes. I didn't like I didn't like Wanda Sykes as Wheezy. It was still good, okay? Um and that came on then, okay? Now the same cast they had for all the family at that point in time is who they had this time. So I'll cover that in a minute. Um but there was a whole new cast, of course, for good time. <laughs> Yeah, and all that. So, I have a few pictures I want to get the way before I start talking. So, you know, they had Patty LaBelle and, um, what's that man's name? Anthony Anderson sing the, the intro. You know, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, I think Patty could have, you know, I just... I felt like as much as we have sang, like Patty, I like, I love the suit. I like this suit too, whatever. But I still feel like as much as we sing that song over the years, as much as we have all sang the good, and you know, we, we've all sang it. Anytime you need a friend, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, not getting hassled, not getting hustled, keeping your hand up, you know what I'm saying? All of that. You know, making the way when we can. Temporary lay, y'all. Good, you know what I'm saying? Easy credit repose. I felt like they didn't do it justice. And that's hard to say because that's Patty LaBelle. Okay, that's Patty LaBelle. I, girl, I, I will say that part. I didn't like how it just didn't seem. It, it, it seemed like they didn't commit to it. Or, like, maybe there was some technical difficulties, and they were told, well, don't sing too loud. Like, sing kind of low. I'm like, why y'all not, you know what I'm saying, girl? And then I'm like, what did Patty say? And, you know, um, hanging in a chair line. I'm like, I don't know what she said, because she, like, mumbled something. And I was like, what's going on? We've been watching Good Times for years. Okay, for years. Okay, I was, I was not, I was not happy. Now the cast. Okay, the cast of the Good Times. So we see Viola Davis, who was playing Florida. Okay, and then the man playing James is Brooklyn Nine Nine star Andre Braher. It's B R A U G H E R. I've seen him in other things as well. Um, we'll talk about that in one second. Okay, but again, you know, they look the parts. I appreciate how, you know, Viola was standing and how she would kind of move some time because that's the thing that Florida would do. But I, we're we going to see about anything else. Okay, but again, they look the part right here. Okay, now we also had, you know, Jamie Foxx's daughter, Corinne Fox, um, who was playing Thelma. I didn't like her as Thelma. I don't think she looked like them, and it's not about looking like them, but I feel like if you had to pick a Thelma, this one you pick, and I feel like she also had like a little accent a little bit, I think she may be from the South, and I'm like, they were supposed to be the products of Chicago, and, and she didn't do a bad job, she didn't do a bad job, I just felt like I wouldn't have picked her as Thelma, you know, not for her, not her, her like her... <sighs> I wouldn't put her stomach, but you know, but she did. She did a, a a nice, okay, job as Thelma. Okay, and, you know, we see you know Asante. This is Asante Black who plays Michael. You know, he played and also um he played on um um when they see us. Okay, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. We we got that. We got that or whatever. Um, who else did we see? Um, you know, Jay Farrow as JJ. 
we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in one second. I wanted to see what people look like, okay? This is him as JJ. He looked the part, you know what I'm saying? We, we can't we can't say nothing bad about that. Um, we see, you know, Tiffany Haddish as Rolona. When she came on, I said, oh, she looked like Rolona. And she had a little bit of Rolona sass. Not her exact, exact foxiness of it all, but she had the sass down pat. She definitely played Rolona as herself. I'll say that. And I, I, I enjoyed it. I also love her little sweater jacket, okay? I want that for Christmas in my stockings. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Okay, I loved her hair as well. Um, So, I'll leave it at that. Because I think everybody else, I don't want, I don't, you know. So... Let's, let's, let's be honest. Okay, we, 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 we could be honest. He, he said, this is me talking to my J-Birds and whoever else is watching. Um, It wasn't good. No tea, no shade. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that they should not have made it. I didn't... I, it, it seemed boring. It seemed like it was slow. Like it was in slow motion or something. I felt like Good Times had so many amazing episodes... I'm not sure why they picked the one they picked, which is the one where all the Mendegos come over and he meets with the dude who is also running against him or whatever. I felt like if y'all was going to pick an episode, it should have been one that's centered on the family. You know, centered on, how could you not have Bookman? Bookman was a consistent cast member on that show from the beginning, okay? From the rooter to the tutor. So I'm looking like, how did y'all not think? Maybe we, my leg is y'all. How can we, not, sorry, I had to look, my little scratch. How can we not have Bookman, a Bookman on here? I, I, I didn't get that. I feel like they should have picked the episode when Penny was around. I think if you're gonna do a good times episode, not the one she got burned. Okay, let's let's move past that. But this well but James around when Penny was around, I can't remember. If Penny was around and James wasn't okay, I get why they didn't do one with Penny. They I think it should have definitely been one when James was with the father. Um but also, you know, what's I don't you know, uh what's I just got the man's name. Um, Andre who played James. I didn't like how he played James. James was John who John Amos who played James Evans had this sternness. This I'm your daddy and I beat your ass if you don't listen to me, but I love you. But he had this sternness to him that I feel like, you know, uh, I keep forgetting this man's name. Um, Andre did not portray, in my opinion. It ain't that he did a bad job. It's just that he played the char character his own way. But James had such a presence. I didn't feel that from Andre. Even when he, when you know when when Michael was back talking, you know a little bit or whatever, saying what Michael said, whatever. You know the way that James would have came back. Andre came back too nice, even since he wasn't saying shut up right. And I'm like, he just, ain't nobody scared of this, James. We not scared, we not scared of this. This man looked like he ain't whooped no ass down a day in his life. And I'm like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I, I, I felt he should have been a bit more stern. Not mean, not angry, okay, not that. But he needed to be a bit more stern to how, you know, John Amos played this role. And I feel like... Compared to how Jamie Foxx nailed George Jefferson and how um, Woody Harrelson nailed Archie Bunker, I really wish Andre, in my opinion, this is my opinion, this is my channel. If you don't like it, get the fuck on. Okay? Make your own channel, make your own videos. Bloody, 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 bloody block, 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 what you will be. But yeah, I felt like um, Andre did not play this role as well as he should have. For the character he was playing. Um, he did good. In his own way. But I'm like that ain't James. That to me it wasn't okay. Um, so that was something. Um, I have a couple other pictures. So as far as you know. Rolona and Thelma. And um, Florida. I feel like again. Tiffany Haddish played her in her own way. I still felt Tiffany had his, herself coming through, but I still feel like she did well on her justice. Um, I, I'll say that. Um, again, I did not feel like, I feel like Corinne, who played Thelma, she did fine. You know, it's not that she did bad at all. Um, I don't think she did bad, but I just feel like I kept looking like 
they whitewashed Thelma. You know, no tea, no shade. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, they whitewashed Thelma. You know, Thelma was a bit... She she was Thelma wasn't darker skinned, but she also wasn't so fair skinned as Corinne is. And I feel like I just wish they picked somebody with a tinge of more melanin in their skin tone, um, who could have also pulled it off. And I feel like because I was so distracted about how she just did look like Thelma and her she she didn't have Thelma's sassiness. There was a way that Thelma would would come back at JJ that seemed effort that seemed effortlessly done, but I felt like with Corinne, Corinne was really trying to nail her lines, and I think that that's a thing with actors is there's a difference between you know what I'm saying I know my lines and let me nail my lines versus I read these lines I don't know what they are but let me become the lines. I don't think Corinne became her lines. She just knew her lines and how to read them. Okay, um, Viola as Florida. Um, Viola's Viola. You know what I'm saying? She was still Florida as well. But I also seen some Annalise in there. I seen some Viola in there. Okay, in all her roles. I think she did well. Somebody commented on social media. It's like, I can't believe they gave her buck teeth. I'm like, they didn't give her buck teeth. But Florida had a gap. So they gave her a gap. And that's really what it was. It wasn't buck teeth. And when I seen the the gap, I say I'm happy they thought of that little thing because again, them in them because Florida had that. Um, I think Viola did fine. Um, I really wish they would have had her in a dress because I feel like I always usually would see her in some kind of dress, and every once in a while we would see her in her pants suits. But I still think she looked great. Um. I think the character who played James, they made his afro too big. James didn't have that much hair. He did not. I mean, he had a bit of a fro, and he had a receded hairline, but he didn't have that much. I mean, it was so much fro in the back, it was crazy. Why is my leg keep on itching? Fanny tattoo. Um, because that's why, I'm, anyway. So, um, but yeah, it was, it was that thing. I didn't like that. Um. I, and, and I don't want this to be an oh, she only reviewing it because she didn't like it. I review her anything, if I like it or not. Um, Jay Farrow as JJ. Um, he did fine, but at the same time, he kept doing the, <laughs> he kept doing that too much. I feel like, okay, you know, that's a one-trick pony. Um, he did fine. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't bad, but I also felt like if you watch Good Time, you can see, oh, he could have did so much more. He could have tried to embody the character much more than what he did. Um, but you you can't expect... It's weird because I'm like, I keep thinking back to when they did the Jeffersons and how great James was and how great James, how great Jamie Foxx was and Woody Harrelson and Marissa Tomei and even the the dude who they had to play Mike, you know what I'm saying, Gloria's husband, all in the family. Um, even, you know, it's just, it's hard to not be like, I wish he was better. And I, I solely blame that on the episode they chose. The, the episode they chose, there were so many pauses in it for them to recite these lines and stuff. And it was like, it wasn't as funny. And I get, oh, let's get an episode that's about people not voting. Oh, my God. You know, look, we this it's enough of that going on in the world. Y'all was literally being interrupted by the president being impeached. My thing is, sometimes people have to know that when you want to get somebody a live acting thing, don't make it so, so about what's going on right now. Because we're dealing with that right now. We don't need, we don't need to be reminded that we know that things are the same in a lot of ways as they were. 45 years ago. We know that. But I mean, like, give me some funny. Give me, give me some funny. Okay. Um, Asante Black, who played, uh, Michael, I, I, he wasn't, he didn't talk much. He had, he talked maybe four times. I'm like, he over the folded envelopes. With stuff in envelopes, okay? I didn't like how they did not give him a widow speak. Michael had a widow speak the whole season. Every season of that show. He had a will speak. I'm like, how did y'all give, you know, um, uh, Viola her the the gap, gave James the receding hairline, but did not give Michael the dang gone widow's peak. I'm like, what's going on here? Okay, here. Um, was that everybody on there? Okay, so we then had, oh, I said Tiffany has this wrong. I liked it. I did. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
she had her she, she I, I liked it i i did i i could i liked how she played it she played it enough to where it wasn't disrespectful and it wasn't not relona but she also it was also her in little pieces of it or whatever but i i, I still liked it now what i did also like but I also disliked it for for different reasons. They brought back John Amos. I was like, it's James. It's the real James. Oh, Lord, he's back. Okay. Damn, damn, damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, He came back. He played Alderman Davis, which I think was fine. I think it's a good thing because how he left the show all those years ago, whatever, and kind of never, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was killed off or whatever. Um, I like that they brought him back, but I also felt like y'all couldn't find any other episode to bring him back or whatever because we didn't like Alderman Davis back then. And I feel like, you know, all the way Alderman Davis played his role, that's not what John did. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. He's a phenomenal actor. Can't wait to see him in, in, in um, uh, Coming to America 2. But I feel like, you know, it's one thing to want to get, like, on, on the Jeffersons, they brought back Marla Gibbs to play the maid. You know, she was the one who came in to play her same role. You know, I feel like I get how they, I guess, didn't want to have James, John, I mean, John Amos, play James because it was the main thing um they wanted to do the same thing well you know bring him in to do a pop or something you could have brought back Thelma to play Thelma she looked she, she looked damn the same exactly the same okay anyway but it was something about John's performance that was amazingly 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 great but also in my personal opinion disappointing um you could tell that he was missing lines but I get it because it's live and he's an older gentleman so I'm not ragging on that or whatever but I'm being honest being honest, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, them taking pauses because whoever at what point was forgetting last for me made it like slow motion. And I'm like, I don't know if I like it like that or whatever. Um but you know, he came back and it was still amazing, you know, him coming in, like, oh, I'm so happy to be here, you know. Y'all have oh, been my favorite family. And I'm like, that's your family, James. That is your family, James. Okay. And we seen, you know, JJ being JJ and you know, John Amos being Alderman and Davis, I'm saying, and and and, and and James being James, but I still like I play James. Uh so it was cute. It was cute or whatever, but at the same time I felt I was a bit bored. Okay, I was a bit bored. Now we also seen Jarrell Jerome made a surprise appearance, okay, Jarrell Jerome. Who played on When They See Us? He played the character of Corey Wise, and I love him as an actor, even from that one movie. Okay, so he came in and he played like the other count, the person who was running for for office. It was cute. He did fine. He did well. I, I'm not surprised he did. Now I'm pretty sure because he's so young, he probably you know was. Well, I'm, I'm thinking everybody's watched Good Times, even if they're younger. Um. He did fine. You know, I don't, I don't have any complaints about that. Um, you know, we see them all there together, okay? Because you see Michael over there in the corner by himself in the little chair over there. Everybody else over there. It was just, uh, I just was like, eh, eh. You know what I'm saying? It was just a thing where I, I I think I expected it to be so much more. This based on the actors they had playing the roles. You know, I felt like, you know, Jay Farrell can do so many different character voices and names and it's usually very, very funny. You know what I'm saying? The actor Andre Andre from um from Brooklyn Nine Nine, I had the thing up on my screen on my screen. I've seen him and other things and he's amazing. So you know, Viola Davis is Viola fucking Davis. Okay, she is Viola Davis. She's amazing, you know. Um, and I just, you know, Tiffany Haddish. I felt like, okay, she's sassy. I want to see what she gets for Lona, and I was kind of disappointed. And I was, I was like, and I called my mom after my mom watched it, and um, I'm like, somebody, did you like it? She's like, oh, I watched it like the beginning of it came on, and I kind of started doing the things. So I'm like, the fact that my mama. Who, you know, was around back then. Was like, she's older than me, of course. So, and she knew Good Time. And she didn't even stop to watch it. Made, I'm like, because it, it was a bit boring. It was a bit slow. For me, I had to keep forcing myself to watch it. I was like, oh, it got to get better than this. No? Okay. And again, it's not out of, from 1 to 10. From a 1 to 10. The Jeffersons, to me, last time was a 9. From a 1 to 10... All in the family. No, from All in the family was a ten. It was. Uh, the, the Jeffersons was a nine. Only because I didn't like Wheezy. 
Um, this time, good times was like a six, maybe even a five. A strong five, but a five nonetheless, okay? And I just wanted it to be so, I just wanted it to be amazing. And I really blame it on the episode they chose. I'm not, you had so many of the episodes where they were all having more conversations with, with each other. You know, James being more of himself. I might have y'all picked the episode, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it was many things that I liked, but also this, as much as I that I didn't. Um, the wardrobe was great. The set was great. The set, the set looked exactly the same, um, and the clothes were on point. Okay, the costumes were amazing. I didn't mind anyone's hair, well, except the dad, James. He, his, I didn't like it was too much hair, and then Michael did not have a way to speak. Um, John Amos, again, he did fine, but I'm like, he wasn't, if you watch Good Times, you remember Alderman Davis, he had a, 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 a air about him, you know what I'm saying, he was, oh, and I feel like Jane, John Amos didn't have that, And but I get they brought him back to have him on the show, so I respect that. At the same time, I wish they would have gotten someone who could have been that, oh, the Evans family, okay, I love, I, I was looking for that, and he kind of just didn't give that. Um, but it's John Amos. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, it's, oh, it's so, that it was what it was. Um, as far as all in the family, it was fine. You know what I'm saying? I feel like again, uh, Marissa Tomei and Woody Harrelson amazingly they could bring back all in the family and have them as all in the family do new episodes, and I would watch it. That's how good Marissa Tomei and Woody Harrelson did those two characters and that's how it looks when you get it right the same way as how good you know Jamie Foxx was you know what I'm saying I think that was amazing even how good you know Will Ferrell and Kerry Washington was as you know um the, the um Karen no Helen and Tom you know what I'm saying I feel like when you get it right it's right and it's amazing but you know with the Wheezy character. I didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Even now, with who they had to play James. You know what I'm saying? It was, it's little things. I'm like, uh, uh, you know, wasn't quite right. Wasn't quite right. Wasn't quite right. Um, but yeah, on All in the Family, you know, it was a fine episode or whatever. I liked the interaction between Marissa Tomei and Woody Harrelson. Um, I have a picture of, of her. Uh, you know, she... <laughs> Marissa Tomei, I've loved her ever since my, my what's called my cousin Vinny. No, no, no. I've loved her since a different world. Okay? A different world. When she was the 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 the, the roommate, okay, with Jalisa and Denise. Okay. When, you know, D D Denise ordered pizza and she ordered the pepperonis or whatever, so she wore the pig nose when they left the pizza in the room. I rem girl from back then, okay. Um, Woody Harrelson, of course. Who again, you know, just did great, and their connection was so cute. And the episode to me was was great. Was um, it was about like draft daughters or whatever, and they played emotional this time. Where before, you know, Archie was an asshole to either all the time or whatever. But you seen them being more lovey dovey this episode, so I think that was great. And even the seriousness of him being upset that a draft daughter was there for Christmas dinner or whatever. But you know. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Marissa, but either like you know Archie, come to the table to the door for me. He like okay, you know, and he like okay, so, showing that bit of love. I loved it. I I I loved it. Um, even Jesse Idleberg is it Jesse Idleberg. Yeah, Jesse Eisenberg, who played in Zombieland with Woody Harrelson, was this picture. Who also was the draft dodger. Okay. So he was on here. So he was, you know, so he was a guest appearance person or whatever. We also had, um, uh, what's the man that Kevin Bacon was here too. I don't have his picture though, but it's what it is. So Kevin Bacon was on here too. It was, it was cute. It was a cute, you know, episode that they did. But again, the first time was great. This time, not so much, um, for it all. But, I, you know, it was fine. You know what I'm saying? If they do it again, I hope... You know, I do hope they can not keep doing this all in the family. It needs need to be something else, you know, for it to be always all in the family and, and, then, and then the black show. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, do Golden Girls, okay? Now, the funny part was Martin Short came out in between, because Good Times came out first, and then they did 
um, all the family. And in between the time, Martin Short came on and he started singing the theme song to Facts of Life. And I'm like, oh, they go to Facts of Life. And they was like, Martin, what are, you, what are you doing? Like, oh, I'm, I'm bringing some joy, you know, to this crazy world or whatever. And he like, we not doing Facts of Life. We doing all the family. He's like, what? Now you tell me? Oh, I need to be held. It was funny. Martin Short is amazing, okay? I know this, I hope they do Facts of Life next. They can do Facts of Life. They can do um, Sanford and Son. You know, there are many other shows they can do that came on around the time. Um, but we shall see. Now, what I will say is they did bring out, you know, three original cast members from Good Times. Okay, we had the original Rolona. JJ and Thelma. Okay. Now, first of all, Thelma is 65, apparently. Someone told me that she's 65. She still looks the same. Like I said, she could have played her own role. Period. Okay. Rolona still looks amazing. Um, I don't know if she's had work done. Her, her face looks very natural but not natural at the same time i'm i'm confused i was very confused on what was going on with her face or whatever but she looks amazing too she looks amazing jj jj looks the same now the funny part was when you know bernadette stanford came out she came out first you know that's thelma and she slammed the door in jj's face and i was like oh the shade of it all now i don't know if that was you know trying to be funny because they were siblings and they was always beefing or whatever. Or if in real life, she don't fuck with that man. And she said, you know what? I'm going to close it on his face. Because he said some folks some things recently that I remember, you know, him kind of being in the news for or whatever. And I'm like, maybe that's what it was for. I'm not sure. But still, even having the three of the original cast members being back was amazing. Um, plus, John and most of course, was on there earlier. Uh, but they came out, you know, after the show. They had finished Good Times or whatever, and, you know, they was like, oh, you know, they're here too. Now, I, I don't know if the character who played Michael is alive or not. I also don't have time to Google it or whatever, but he wasn't there. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know if the character who played Bookman is alive or not, but he wasn't there. Um, I'm pretty sure the bro Alderman Davis was a pastor, but he was old back then. Um, but again, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I enjoyed All in the Family more than I enjoy good times and I did not think that would be coming out of my mouth. Okay, did not think that. Um but yeah. So that was my review of the whole thing. Um I I like these little you know live action, you know, uh redos of these shows. Um I wouldn't be mad if they did a you know live and then they did just two black shows. Do, you know, another Jefferson's and do a um, Sanford and Son. Or do, t you know, another Jefferson's and Good Times. But this time, pick a, a episode that was entertaining and funny. Like, I'm like, y'all pick this one? Okay. If you say so. Um. Anyway, that's it, y'all. If you I don't know if they're going to replay it at all. The last time they, it was not, they did not replay it. Um, and in between it, they kept doing the impeachment stuff. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm done.